What's up guys? Today we will be sublimating a coffee mug in a conventional oven. Now this is my first time sublimating a coffee mug in a conventional oven. I normally sublimate my coffee mugs in my air fryer and the link to that video will be in the description down below as well as the top, as the top of the screen. So today we are doing a small graphic with words on a coffee mug. So what I have to do right now is just tape the images to the coffee mug and we want to make sure that they're really really tight so we're, we will be using a lot of tape. And while you're doing this process, you want to make sure that you do not have tape in the way of the actual image. So be careful how you lay your tape and your images. And here we are using heat transfer tape. Now here we're going to grab some parchment paper. And on, with the parchment paper, we are just going to do the same thing that we did with the actual images. I'm going to tape it. You might have to cut it, you know, cut it the best, the best way you can. But make sure it's really tight. Also, make sure your image is taped down really, really tight. Okay, now we're going to grab our silicone mug wrap. Um, the link for the, everything that I'm using in this video will be in the description down below. The silicone mug wrap just puts more, it protects your mug as well as puts more pressure on the image and everything. So it's pressed down better than what you already taped it down. So heat press is already warmed up. It's on 390, it's on turbo for seven minutes. You will also find out the best settings for your own conventional oven or your own air fryer whatever you're using you will find the best settings that suits you because i believe everybody has different settings that fits them so with that being said let's see how it turns out up oh, and i have on silicone oven mitts or silicone mitts so do not touch the mug anything that you pull out of conventional oven barehanded because it is extremely hot so that's why I have the silicone mug. I mean, so I have the silicone gloves. The link will be in the description down below. Um, now I normally have one both of them, but these things are so hard to work with. So um, I normally have one, and the other one I try to take the tape and stuff off. It's just crazy, but it's hot, very hot. So let's take the silicone, take the mug wrap off. Look at it. You can see if, when you can see the words, or you can see your image through the paper and the tape then you know that that is sublimated now the trick is how to get the, all the tape and stuff off with the damn gloves on so be careful because it's hot and the camera camera angle is the worst I'm so sorry come on there we go. Like, okay, we got the we got the uh, parchment paper off. And it came off, it came out nice and dark, how I want it, how I wanted my words to be. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's see what the, how the other side came. On the other side is black text with purple, with one purple word. I want to see how that looks. So let's see how the purple came out. Oh, look at that. It is beautiful. Now, I see that I did leave it in a little long because I can see where... It burnt just a little bit. 
I'm just gonna put it in some water just to cool it off a little bit. So I'll also have water so that it can cool off because the bad boy is high. We still have one more piece there. There we go. Get that off here. Look at that. That is so cute. Yes. There you have it, guys. A coffee mug sublimated in a conventional oven. Awesome. beautiful i really get so excited and so happy when i'm making things it's just beautiful it looks so cute and it is extremely satisfying <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching you guys are awesome don't forget to like comment subscribe and share i'm gonna catch you guys on the next video you guys are awesome be breezy